<laughs> Men will literally stick their whole face in your ass, but be scared to open up about their feelings. Yeah, so what? I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. This is a fun analogy, but I wanted to talk about it because it, it, it is true. We'll do that, but you know we won't open up. And again, from a guy's standpoint, let me kind of share this with you. It's weird. Guys cannot be vulnerable or show emotions with a woman when they're dating. They can't. You can until maybe you're deep into the relationship and there's that trust and you have that, uh, that, that intimacy that's just not sexual, but it's actually on an emotional level and you can trust. And that's when you can ultimately start sharing and being vulnerable with a woman. But uh, let, me, let me share a story. Um, when I was dating, I was dating like, a, a, as guys call it, a 10. The, one of the, a gorgeous woman, right? You walk into a bar, everyone looks at you, they're jealous of you. You're that guy. And that was like a big ego boost for me. But it was just a transactional thing, right? But I was that guy. Then my dad has a heart attack. This is like in 2017. My dad has a heart attack and then falls into a coma. And this is like on a Friday. Of course, I'm a mess. I, I go to the emergency room, I'm there, and uh, I, I'm just completely out of it because it's my dad, right? I then go home because, you know, I had to go pick something up and she texts me. She's like, hey, what's going on? How's your dad? And uh, we had plans that night to go to some steak restaurant or something like that. And I call her and I'm like, you know what? Uh, I'm really out of it right now. My dad, he's in a fucking coma. I, I can't think I can go out with you right now. I, I just uh, I need to get my mind straight. And uh, I just need my woman right now. If you can just I need you right now. If you, I just need you to be next to me. Uh, I need your support. If you if, if babe, I love you, just come over and just I need this right now. No, no, uh, uh, no, that's too much. That's too much for a Friday night. I, and what about me? I busted my ass all week. I'm tired. I'm stressed. I want to have a good time. I don't need this emotional weight right now to bring me down. No, that's your thing. It, call me when you get home. But no, I'm going to go out with so-and-so, another female. And I was like, oh, oh. So you can imagine how I thought we were something. I had this fantasy idea like, hey, my woman's going to be next to me and kind of help me through this moment. And then she said, no, she's going to go to a bar. I was like, fuck. Like, okay. That hurt. That hurt. And I was, an emotion I was emotionally vulnerable with her for a, for a moment. Before that, I played the role of like, yeah, I'm the man of the house. I'm this, I'm that. But I was, I was weak for obvious reasons. This wasn't because I wasn't getting my way at work or like uh, I didn't close that deal or you know, you know, I hate my job, you know, bullshit, everyday bullshit like that. I'm just talking a real life moment. And I was vulnerable. I was like crying on the phone and that turned her off. And a month later, she cheated on me. So, yes, if you, there are women out there again, guys, if you're dating a woman just for superficial looks like in this, just like, hey, you want to be seen with a hot woman and you're kind of ignoring all the behavioral traits because you're just you're blinded because of her body, you're setting yourself up for failure. And you may not happen now, but when life hits you and punches you in the mouth, and it will, that's when you need a woman who's gonna be by your side and hold your hand and be in that emergency room with all your crying family. You, that's what you want. That's what matters. That's what matters. And no one talks about that. And that upsets me. That's what matters. And that's what's important. But yeah, when it comes to being emotional, or being vulnerable, there's a 50-50 chance guys can't do it. And I learned that firsthand. 